Hey guys, this is Rabbit, and today I'm going to show you how I've been speedrunning isolation vaults. And maybe that's a little bit misleading, because you can only speed up a vault run so much. Uh, most of a vault run is going to a location, and doing a thing, like defending a point, for a set amount of time. So the only thing you can really speed up is the Necromech fight, which with this build is less than 10 seconds. So I think this is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, we're doing this for the Necroloid faction. I think some people are under the impression that the vaults are a good place to farm resources. Uh, I'm not convinced of that. There are resources that simply don't drop down here. And the ones that do, I think there are more efficient ways to get. The exception is Scintillant, uh, which is just generally difficult to get. So if you're tired of running bounties, or of mining and fishing and fighting around obelisks, then the vaults are a, a good option to break the monotony. Uh, let's look at the build and get into the run. The reason I'm taking Revenant is because the most dangerous part of the Necromech fight is his damage reflection shield. Uh, you really want to be able to plow through that shield quick to get this fight over with, and the damage reflection will kill most non-tank frames. Revenant is the tankiest frame, so he doesn't have that problem. And we're taking a Catch Moon, which is the perfect weapon for this fight. Uh, for two reasons. One, it's a single big shot, which means we're not going to strip away our Mesmer skin super fast. And two, it has innate punch through, which combined with the very large projectile it shoots, means that it's going to hit the Necromex weak spots no matter where we shoot it, so we don't really have to aim. We're going to go through this very quickly, because like I said, a lot of it is sitting around waiting for timers. So we start off by following the markers and going to the highlighted places on the map and collecting the worm pieces on the ground. Now we take those worm pieces to the marked place on the map and play a game of defense for a few minutes where we're mostly just going to cast in Thrall and let the monsters eat each other. Now this is the other reason we bring Revenant because there's a lot of sitting around and waiting for timers to pass and not a lot of fighting is necessary and Enthrall makes that very easy. Then we collect the concoction, run underground directly behind us, and throw it into the giant underground sphincter. We follow the markers to the next location where we're going to play a three minute game of hunting the marked mobs for a drop that will lower the toxicity level. Now once again, Enthrall is your best friend here because the only thing you're trying to kill are the marked mobs. All of the other enemies in the room are just distractions. Now we follow the markers through another underground sphincter to the main room of the isolation vault. Here we'll find the necromech, so we keep our mesmer skin up, and we shoot him until he's dead with the catch moon, which doesn't take very long as you can see. It does the aiming for us, so the only thing we have to concentrate on is trying to dodge as much as we can. And that's all there is to it. The last thing we're going to do is find the vault room that is connected to this main room in one of the four cardinal directions. We shoot the pylon with our operator, and then we're going to play a game of following Lloyd around and protecting him while he powers up four points around the main room. Uh, once again, Enthrall is your best friend here, and we'll keep Lloyd nice and safe. After that, you run back to the door, play the memory game, and collect your loot. Now there are a whole lot of secrets in these vaults that I'm not going to cover that normally you would go around and explore right now, uh, but that deserves a video all of its own. So you can just exit the vault and start the next one. So that's all there is to it guys. Uh, hopefully this helps you kill that necromech without a lot of hassle. Good luck, and I'll see you in game.